Welcome back to some more Legacy of Hogwarts. Man, this stuff is getting good. I gotta go report to Professor Ronan. Wait, what? Kitty cat. Hey, what's up, kitten? That's a loud, loud purr. Oh. Mm. Professor Ronan, oh, what's up? You, you have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. I'm just trying to figure out why there are paper flying above my head. Weird. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Rebellion! That's what I needed. I need Accio to actually. Rebellion. Accio. Let me go. I got a page. Nice. I'm gonna learn and start flying. Come on, huh? Page must be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Different door. Rebellion. Oh, heck, that jerk. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Uh, square. X. X. Here. There we go. Para. I can repair things now. <laughs> Heck yeah! That's it! Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It Repair. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Rebellion. Ancient magic throw. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Relief to finally have an answer as to why that rebellion. Ooh, 
Oh, then a page. Wait, what the heck? Shit, get over here. Rebellion. Okay, we'll go back to the war looking thing. Okay. This looks like a math problem. Wait. Across from it? Up there, but it's not that. Come on. Rebellion. Hmm. Try each one. Okay, I need to reach Nanny. Try to play with that thing. I thought I could solve it, but I'll figure it out later. Rebellion. Nothing. What's this? Got the page. Hey, Nati. Give me one second, Nati. Nothing? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Nati, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Hey, you ran to glad Rebellion. He asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I, don't mind I thought you might enjoy a Butterby in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? 
What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. From a forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. I know I'm not the only person seeing this, right? Yeah, yeah, see this, right? Oh, oh, get out of my way. Pay attention to where I'm going. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is huh? everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. He didn't sound like he was dying. What's wrong with that guy? He's okay? Nearly there. There is much to see outside here. It's not just hugs me. To explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. 
You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hugs meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. But now I get to explore. Nice, get my hair cut, which I don't have any hair. Point there. Potions and magic meat. Open up shop. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, if it blows up again, I'm gonna have an issue, sir. What do you think? Let's try it out. Extraordinary. I have the power! Another, wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance.
there. If I didn't find this one, I'd kick you behind. Oop, got a new coat. Yeah, you're gonna visit tomes and scrolls. Didn't go here anyway. Next time I'm bringing a broom. If Anthony has to graduate from Hogwarts, I'll just live here. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I have to come back. I just want what, 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 what was free. Learn to get some money in this world. We're here first, since I'm, since I'm closest. If Isekai was real, which means magical reincarnation into another world, that probably go in Harry Potter. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Let's do this. Rebellion. So let's have some glowing. Wait, I get to learn to break open doors? Oh yeah. An inquiry. 
inquiring mind. Now that's interesting. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Give me all the free stuff. That's all I want. All the free stuff. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I'll take a look later. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Matty. Look outside, it seems like. I'll get it later. Hmm? Got it. Heck yeah. Oh, nowhere. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. That don't sound too good. You might want to run. Okay, I get to fight my own troll. Oh. Here. Look, it's 
Troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. Ah. <laughs> 